church spot. Guy at church has been saying that he's been having some big bucks in behind his house. He only owns like a couple acres. So I'm behind, behind his house on the, the couple acres. It's this little bottom down in here. My wind has been kind of swirling a little bit, but I really have nothing to lose. It's just a simple little hunt. He's got a tree stand back behind me in little ways. I decided to kind of move up in, maybe to a spot. This is a spot deer would have never seen before, but wind's good right now, so supposedly one of these bucks is a monster. I don't have my range finder, so I'm just going to keep everything close, but it's all thick in here anyways, so we'll see. If it happens, it will happen fast. Oh yeah, there's a road, like, right there. Matt. just shot the biggest buck of my life and I think he's laying right up there dead. I expected the deer to come in from right over here up off of this hill 
and cruise down through here. And so I had an open shot. Instead, this deer came up off of this hill, came right down here. I missed him right there. He bedded right over there and I shot him right back here. I have hunted. And it's been such a crazy season. I was talking to this guy at church last week and he's like, yeah, I got some pretty buck, big bucks in behind the house. This is a big buck. I'm, I cannot wait to get down and get my hands on him. So I'm gonna slowly get myself out of this tree. <laughs> Buddy's going to take some pictures. I think we got a big buck down right up on that hill. I mean, I saw him fall down. Unless he stands up and runs away, he's down. This one, uh, this one means a lot. Um, I have, last year I drew back on a buck about this size, maybe a little bit bigger. I actually didn't draw back on him. I <laughs> just let him go by. And this year I've had to learn so much. I, I had a buck come out 45 yards, took the shot, hit him high. Super frustrating. And then last week, Friday, I hit a buck square in the shoulder and couldn't find any blood, tracked them for like 300 yards, couldn't find a drop of blood. And I've been on bucks more this year than what I have my entire life, hunted the rut harder. <laughs> and just on a whim, guy at church tells me he's got some bucks behind his house. I ask him if I can come out, he's got like three acres. And I'm in the stand probably 10, 15 minutes and this guy comes down grunting a dove. Hit him right there. Without a doubt, the biggest buck I've ever shot. And I could not <laughs> be happier. Uh, I'm just grateful for the Lord. Um, I've prayed for this buck, but I think God has made me wait and learn to appreciate it. If I would have shot this on day one, I would not have appreciated this buck nearly as much. He's a cool buck, and I'm just pumped. Thanks for watching. James 1-2 says, Consider it pure joy when you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. This season of my life has taught me the value of being challenged, and not just in hunting. The biggest fighter I ever met was my daughter, Hadassah Williams. She had many challenges, yet overcame them all. She went to be with Jesus and my dad on September 25, 2018. She is now enjoying life without limits. This video is dedicated to her. Shed the light.